that we are all the way back again and again and again. Legitly and it looks, now. It looks like we're really living up to our phrase that pays for the year, which is consistency. <laughs> consistency. Man, I'm freaking <laughs> loving it. We are here. I am Baron J67. I'm T. Jones. We got some things to talk about. And this is Adventures of the Black Nerds, yes, man. It is. I am just so happy that you guys are here listening. And for those who aren't listening, for those who are getting this this energy, this presence spiritually, like y'all feeling it, mm. thank you. Receive it. Receive us. And for those of you who are actually watching on YouTube now, I right? appreciate you. We're back. Thank you. Webcam thank you. And thank you. Blew the dust Oh, off. I'm being recorded? Oh. Yes, you is. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, y'all so, yo, weren't ready. I yeah. told y'all I was coming New back. overlay, new advertising I sequence. I told y'all. Um, we, gotta... we still have some hiccups. We're trying to trying to get it all sourced I... out, but uh, we're good now. We're good. I... All right. <clears throat> Fix yourself, dog. Okay. First thing on the menu, Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, yes. So we got to acknowledge that Bran was staring at everybody like the grandma who's displeased with her grandson's girlfriends. He, I think he was. He, pretty... he, no, he was seriously looking at everybody like he, like they all stay, uh, like mortals. I feel like he I think at everybody. He's the prince. He is prince of Game of Thrones, like the artist formerly known as Prince. Yeah, I mean, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think he's. Uh, I think he's doing what he's what he can do. He, I well, can see things. I know well, what yeah. you're going to do. <laughs> he he is the epitome, and examples like him are reasons why I don't want to know everything. He's like because the, then he's the scream mask when he calls and talks to you on the phone. <laughs> bro, he do look like the scream mask. <laughs> oh, how do you know these things? <laughs> I know everything. Mm-hmm. I couldn't do. How boring does life is life like? Knowing, see, and this is the funny part. He doesn't know the specifics, but he knows enough. He he has like the cliff notes on all of history mm-hmm. and time. That's gotta suck. Could you imagine knowing every movie before you go see it? I at mean, least the major plot points. I'm, you know what they say: too much of a, of a good thing can be bad. So, man, I mean, drink too much water, you can die. Bro, look at, look at vampires. Bruh. In the perfect scenario, they can be immortal. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah. Dude, that... But would you... Okay, so Game of Thrones. Are, oh, you, you about to ask, you about episode, me something right? about vampires? Nah, I wasn't going to oh, go okay. down that road. I was going to leave that one alone. Because <laughs> I can go for days on vampires. Mm-hmm. Okay, speaking of vampires... Oh, okay, there we go. Since you brought it up, you, you took it there. I... <sighs> I just didn't think. I, listen, man, we got the video back. I didn't know if you was gonna take it there or not. I just had to ask. I want to see your reaction. So what? What you gonna ask me? Because I'm pretty sure I already got my answer developed. I think vampirism. I think we stand a better chance of vampirism than zombieism, mm. only because. Have you seen the movie Water Girl or uh, Tank Girl? No. Okay, well, in Tank Girl, they weren't necessarily drinking blood, but they were able, because the world dried up to, like, nothing. There was no water anywhere, but they created this system where they could siphon water out of human beings. So, technically, people was running up and hitting you with the suction cup <laughs> and sucking all the water you out of you. getting sailed? So, yeah, <laughs> you was getting sailed. Yes, yes, Dragon Ball reference. Dragon Ball Z, yes, they were getting cell series. He's like getting all sailed. day. <laughs> yes, and then they were drinking the water. It was like purified and crisp. Okay, it, but it, see, clear. you gotta now think listen. about it. Okay, now listen, let me take it to let me. And now there's a company out there which I did a video on, and you can find on my YouTube channel, which is linked below. Ever there's beautiful a company advertisements. Out there. Shameless plugs. <laughs> there's a vi- there's a I did a video, and there's a company. That's going out and doing um, youthful blood transfusions, and they will pay you for youth your youthful blood if you fall within these parameters and you give up so much blood. And older people are buying it. I forgot the name of the company, but I did do a video on it. So they're already we're already in the process of people getting body flush fluid flushes with pure cleaner blood. So now 
imagine this. Imagine if you start seeing dramatic results in this. All of a sudden, it adds five, ten years to your body. All of a sudden, you get, you feel better. Certain illnesses are lessened. Chronic illnesses, uh, whatever, anything to do with your blood is now a t- thousand times better and adds time to you. I don't like how yeah. you just took the mythology and the the, the no the because you have that out of being a vampire. Now I don't want to be a vampire no more. <laughs> I made it. I made it realistic because yeah, this you is, definitely this killed is, it. Well, I don't because, like you right now. Well, no, because you got to think. You have to tack on the fact that these mythologies all came from something. Somebody saw something. Somebody heard about something. Somebody seen usually it's something. a voice. It ain't science, but. It's the principles. Principles never change. Mm. Somebody will turn this into such a commodity that all of a sudden young people are going to come up missing due to what? Their Don't blood being sucked out of them. Don't and what? It. who was sucking the blood? Vampire. Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just, I'm just saying like vampirism is, is there. And then don't get me started on zombieism. There's already fungus out there that take over animals and have them moving around. and Different, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's a whole different story. But back to Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. The I am so zombieism. excited that it's back, bro. I um, could, bro, I literally, everybody was so hyped. And, you know, I, I had to play the backseat cool kind. Like, I had to act like, like I don't care. Man, but, but this dude that work was like, hey, man, when you going to catch up on? Because he likes talking Walking Dead with me. So he's like, mm. hey, man, when you going to catch up on Walking Dead? I'm like, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, 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 probably, I probably look this weekend, you know what I'm saying? Hit him with the oh, hit him with the smooth line, like I'll call you back. Yeah, dog, I'll call you later. <laughs> but no, but I'm gonna tell you, bro, straight out with the Walking Dead because we're we're like straight out jumping subjects with the mm-hmm. Walking Dead. I haven't watched the last two and a half seasons. Yeah, and people forget That's that. Just being people, honest, you probably haven't watched the the last season. People forget that they split one season in half. That's why I said two and a half. Oh, oh, you really I, haven't watched two and a half seasons? Oh, then bro, yeah. spoiler alert. I haven't seen past uh what's his name dying? Uh the son. Oh, so you haven't watched last season? Sure. Yeah, it's last season. But you'll be last right, season though. and a half. <laughs> yeah. So la- yeah, yeah, last season and a half. And yeah. half. Yeah. Look, you, you give me my half. <laughs> give my nah, half. I'm, um, I'm, I'm I, I just haven't watched. I haven't watched the half of last season. Um, I heard some good things though. Won't spoil anything on here. But um, yeah. back to the Game of Thrones, bro. Yeah, Game we, of Thrones is life. Like, yes. When did you start watching Game of Thrones? Day one. Oh, so you watched it day one? Okay, I did I not regret. Watch. Let me tell you, I hate people like you. Oh, I, I, I'm all caught up. No, but that the fact that how long did it take you to catch up? You got to sit I was, down. I was only watch behind four seasons. No, no, no. I was only behind like oh. two seasons. And oh, then okay. I caught it. I I watch. I binge watch season one, two up until three, and then I've been following it ever since. Okay. I, yeah, give I'm me my respect, lie. dog. Give me. My yeah, my respect. bad, my bad. You you've been there. You've been in the trenches. I like when. Okay, so this Netflix culture mm-hmm. has completely ruined us. I didn't told you that already, dog. It's ruined us so much, bro. I could. I'm watching certain shows. Like me and my family binge watch the heck out of Pretty Little Liars. No, mm. take that back. No, I am lying. We kept up with Pretty Little Liars. We yeah. waited every week to watch Pretty Little Liars. Who's man, hey? little, <laughs> man, we waited every week. So when it got to the final season, my coworker. She legit caught up in like two or three weeks. Mm-hmm. Don't and you I hate was when so they be, angry. They be feeling like they legit like like you been like, through it. Like you didn't have to wait six, seven, eight, nine a year, um, so many months to find out who A was. Mm-hmm. You didn't have to wait. It wasn't sitting on your mind. It wasn't marinating in your brain who Bro. was A. You just literally sat Bro. down and watched all of them. And so now, yeah. So now. We're, we're spoiled rotten because that's the world we live in. Like I, I can binge through a whole series in a weekend if it's only got twenty something episode. We gonna blast through it. Mm-hmm. But with Game of Thrones, every episode's forty nine, fifty minutes. Yeah, you got all this borderline movie every episode, 
And there's people out there who didn't have to wait like you did. They no. just get out and was like, no, and, and it's I heard it's a good show. I'm going to get like, caught up. He, uh, look how many people talked about Game of Thrones. Where they, I, I think I was reading something where like a billion people tuned in or some crazy nonsense like that. Um, my whole my thing about that is I think that we're in this era where they want to complete everything and then give it yeah. to people. But certain shows, you don't want to do that. You want the hype yeah. to, to continue to grow. Obviously, yeah. endorsements, advertisement, merch, all of that stuff got, got to sell. So with Game of Thrones, you cannot do that. You know, that would people will be upset that you did that because yeah, of the diehard fans, the people that literally cosplay every Sunday yeah, yeah. To, to watch. Yeah. Yeah. To cook the food. They have recipes you can get off of Google. Why and they would have they want parties? Exactly. Every... So I think people sit down. I think with with something like Game of Thrones, anything on like HBO Power or even yeah. Stars, you can't do that too. But no. like Netflix series, Hulu, things like that, it's like, ah, oh, just give it to me, y'all. Especially so when it's not in depth like that. Yeah. Because Game of and... Thrones have so I was thinking about it, I was like, how many God dang, I got so many questions about everybody. <laughs> like, what, mm-hmm. what's going on here? Like, who braided her hair? Like, do they braid hair like <laughs> How did she get the hair braided like that? What was the dragon thinking? The dragon was looking at him. What was he thinking? He was like, hey, man, you about to tap that? Or is he going to, like, I sense the blood? Like, <laughs> like going, y'all related. I smell do something. It. What if, what if you would have gave a warning breath? Yeah, like, ooh, like, something. Bro. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, so super, we're going to get spoilery from here. I hate that word. I, I'm probably going to just Man, right. Facebook, don't go on Facebook. Just don't. Yeah, Facebook already ruined it for you. But I, I want to sure. give people a, a, a warning. So we're about to dive in. Now, what do you think? Okay, what do you think is going to be the ultimate ending? Uh, I, I, I literally went, um, I don't know. I, I had to make like the, like, I just jumped off a bridge and threw paper at a wall and said that, uh, uh, Daenerys is going to die and John's going to be king. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's going to make a lot of people mad. Littlefinger is not dead. Littlefinger is going to come out on top and John is going to get what he wants and he's going to denounce his crown again Mm -hmm. because he's already done it twice and Littlefinger is going to sit on the throne and Cersei is going to be locked in a cave somewhere. What makes you think Littlefinger is alive still? Because one, he know he's related to people in Bravos where the people of no faces are. His grandfather is from there. Then, if you remember, before he was killed, somebody came and was talking to him in the stables. You didn't hear what the conversation was. Of course not. Then the next scene, he gets killed. And he knew his time was up when Bran showed him the knife and told him what he told the guy who was supposed to give the knife to kill uh, kill Bran. Yeah, because you know Littlefinger started it all. Of course, he with him giving the knife to the dude to assassinate, like all oh, blah blah blah. Littlefinger basically started everything. Yeah. Um. He well, actually, it was Rhaegar. I thought it, it was I, Rhaegar Targaryen. It was it was actually Jon Snow's dad who really kicked everything off. Mm-hmm. His real daddy. Oh, spoiler alert! Jon Snow's real daddy is uh, Rhaegar Targaryen. His mama is Lyanna Stark. Um, You're like ooh, I gotta late, share. I gotta tag that. you in the link. There, uh, this, uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this writer did a black version, like the black explanation of Game of Thrones, and it was. It was I did. Was I seen an article on that. Hey, it was the most beautiful thing ever. Mm. It was perfect, but but I think Littlefinger is gonna magically pop up and ruin everybody's day. Mm. And I, I do. I I don't think they're gonna kill John again. I think no. he's gonna like go out in the the wilderness and like live as a hermit. Yeah. But Daenerys, I think she's gonna die. 
Yeah, I think she's gonna die. I think. Yeah, I, 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 think, I think so. I think this is more so the the crookedness between all of houses, and um, the ultimate battle against the White Walkers. Like I, I just think mm-hmm. that they they've been putting that off. We've only had two. Even though the battles that we seen was some epic shit, bro. I mean, when Jon Snow stood off against the army by bro, himself, bro, by himself. How gangster was that? And the White Walker dude got a dragon. <laughs> he got a Let whole tell dragon, you, not not half it, a dragon. He got a whole dragon. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think he's gonna piss everybody off. It wouldn't shock me if the whole White Walker situation is ended in the next two episodes. Mm. Ah, and every it wouldn't shock it that'd would piss me off. Me. I'm gonna tell you why it would piss me off. I know off. It would piss people off because that's what the whole show is built on. That, not only that, you y'all took forever in the day to even introduce them. So you're gonna kill them off in two episodes? Bro, what is I what is there to doubt. left? What is there left to even watch? Well, no, Cersei died because you gotta no, you gotta see it's still the whole show is the fight for the Iron Throne, of course. Remember, Cersei is already waiting. She was like, I'm gonna fight whoever. Is yeah. left. I'm away. The White Walkers are in between. They're already like a day's march there. Yeah. So the next episode, they should be fighting or at least standing off against White Walkers. Yeah. That that's already next episode. I don't. So think how many gonna... episodes are you going to do battle? I'm a telling lot. you, bro. I don't think a it's going to last long. a lot. They better do a lot. Like <laughs> he said, I want four episodes I need the... of them Come, fighting. Look how long it took. For them to even but come no, up with the season, but I'm, I get I get in terms of that. But let's be let's think pure realistic. They already set the tone. He um uh what's his and name they, the, and don't forget they can fight multiple fronts because the uh forget the chick's name she's she's out now and she's going back home and I think it's gonna be easy cake for her to take her th- take the throne back. Um, oh, you're talking about the, what's her name? Um, I forget the the water. Greyjoys. Yeah, Greyjoys. So uh, that's a whole nother option there. They, so much stuff we can go. So many different places they can take it, and that's why I love the show so much. I just anything can have it. Yeah, they they gonna piss me off if 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 the White Walker Bro, thing that because oh, look, hate me now, hate me now because I'm right. gonna tell you. I'm not talking Game of Thrones with you no more. If 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 you call it, I'm not. <laughs> don't talk to me, bro. <laughs> If, you if, know I'm randomly right about stupid stuff like you, this. And this is the one you don't want to be right about. You're going to be like, hey, man, you talk about Game of Thrones? Nah, I kiss my ass. I ain't talking about okay, hey, hey. <laughs> Talk about I'm, that, damn. I just Apex Legends. That's what we going to talk about. Fortnite. Like, bro. Uh, nah, I, nah I, I can. I, I know. I want to. No, all jokes aside, Um, I can see that happening as you, you know, you talk about it. But I don't. Think if I had to, if I was a betting man, I wouldn't bet that it would happen. Um, I need to see something epic, like it gotta be some epic, super duper, like the the dragon. The whole dragon has to be its own episode itself. They got a whole blue eyes white dragon, a whole so blue so eyes so white so dragon. So you crazy? Kaiba, Kaiba. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see I that dragon in action, whole, dragon. like. It's gonna be a two on one fight, but this is a whole blue eyes white dragon. Like he got the whole deck. <laughs> okay. All right. So another thing. There let's think about all the major moments that still have to happen. Okay. You still have the Clegane Bowl. You still gotta have uh the hound fight the mountain. That hasn't happened. Mm. We haven't um I think I don't the think... hound needs to die. Like in, so? in a fight like that, he gotta die. Like who? I don't think you're gonna need a dragon to beat that dude. Like, <laughs> oh, the mountain, yeah. Hey, but but you know, I'm telling you, I think that's gonna. So that's gotta happen. Um, I wonder what's about to go down with Jamie Lannister. He bold because Bran. Hey, Bran gave him the the grandma with the, stare down. Either with the. I see you, man. I see you. <laughs> and he just bro, not moving, hey, bro. <laughs> Nah, I, I think, just. To be honest, I'm ready for the Clint Game Bowl. To, man, people forget that for. that that kicked off a gang of stuff, man. That kicked off majority of it, man. That him getting him kicked, pushing him out the yeah. window. Hey, come here. He's <laughs> kill ancestry overall. See, still got questions yeah, about bro. that. Like, how they get in that tower? I didn't see no stairs, no ladder, no rope, <laughs> Rapunzel. Bro, I ain't see none of that. Like. 
I guess Game of Thrones is showing us that uh, family love trumps all. I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> nah, okay, but we we do have that to happen. Um, what else do we need to happen? Man, um, I'm focused the dragon on the battle. dragon battle, dog. The, the dragon battle got to be the, some... the dragon battle. I'm Bruh. So good. How's that um, going to work? What if he ooh. gets all three? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what if he gets all three <laughs> so what if he takes over the world and it's like post apocalyptic and then I would not be mad at that, that would I would be, be 100% cool. cool like damn they, see the bad guys should, just ultimately like, win like there was nothing y'all can do man, the bad y'all was too stupid being humans man, yeah because yeah. this is what sucks bro think about how the battle's gonna go anybody who goes down you gotta like Burn their body all the time. Yeah, you gotta time. But because the moment the, they die, he can bring them back. That isn't that dragon glass supposed to. That's what's supposed. But but you, I'm talking about the people who die on your side. He can instantly bring them. Up. So you're fighting uh, a, a over a OP necromancer with like level umpteenth bro, stats. I'm literally and a damn dragon. Hey, bro, and a just... blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> a fire away arrows, glagging drives arrows. Ooh, <laughs> speaking of dragons, because I want to transition, because I can do this Game of Thrones stuff all day. Yeah, so we, we, I didn't realize how long we've been talking. I, um, so I've made the mistake of playing Elder Scrolls Blades. This boy. Look, <laughs> let me tell you, boy, folks, <laughs> folks. I have an old phone. People laugh at me. I got a, I got a, a Galaxy S six. Don't judge me. Um, it's it's a it's an old phone. It don't play modern stuff. It do what it need to, but the modern stuff it don't it don't do. When you do decide so, to upgrade, look at the Asus phone, the Asus ROG. That it actually looks pretty dope. But continue. Right. I'm sorry. Look, I, <laughs> I, I'm like a cave. <laughs> I'm like a caveman when it comes to phones. <laughs> so me. I'm looking at my house. I'm like, ooh, let's see the iPad. Let's see the tablet. I got no technology that can run this game. Oh, wow. So I'm legit thinking about like, oh, I need to upgrade my phone. I'm only debating <laughs> on upgrading my phone to simply play a mobile game. You better but not. Let me, but let me tell you, I didn't because I found a solution. And thank God for my wife. I use my wife's phone. <laughs> so I'm all day. <laughs> hey, can you take your memory card out? Can you, can you take your memory card? I'm, I'm all day with my wife's phone. Mm. I'm like, oh, you can give me that phone back, girl. Like, you got Wi-Fi here? Oh, let me see your phone. Stupid. Oh, let me let me get your phone. I'm constantly taking my. I think I had my wife's phone. I know for people who, a majority of the day. I know people who bought the uh, the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the Note 9 just for PUBG and don't play PUBG no more. Whoa! You better chill. Or you well, better, I don't have to. Or you better get I don't have to worry. I'll just keep or using. Yeah. I keep, keep using my keep wife. Doing what you doing? You good, bro? The future is now. <laughs> I'm like, oh, see, this is you know when they say now two or one, this is what they meant. Mm-hmm. Like we now, all this technology is ours. <laughs> you know, it, it's ours. But Man. then there's a downside. So she's on my Facebook on my phone because mm. of course she need her uh, a phone. Mm. And she's like sharing pictures and videos and stuff. I'm getting comments on stuff that I didn't even know. I was like, I didn't share that. I'm thinking I got hacked. I sure didn't but no. push that. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I didn't click post that. You know what you need and to she do? Was- you need to get like a family tablet. Like one of them cheap Samsung, like $100. No, tablets. I need it to be powerful. No, I need it to you, be able no, to run see, blades. No, you use her phone for that. And then she can log in again on all her shit on that tablet. And you're good right. to go. That's what I got. Right. So when my right. daughter, when my daughter tablet die and I need her to go, here, take it, get out of here. <laughs> got hey, ain't one. it, ain't it funny that everybody talked about how? Oh, I'm not gonna give my kid a tablet. Bullshit. We're gonna talk. We're, man, my kid. As soon as they get rowdy, I'm like, my, where's the damn tablet? <laughs> Where the tablet? Oh, at? They both got tablets. Mm-hmm. Both my kids got tablets. They both under three and they got tablets. My daughter, at first I thought it was a terrible idea. Mm-hmm. Then it kept her busy. But not only did it keep her busy, she's over there talking about, oh, daddy, this is an isosceles triangle. I was like, I have never said that. <laughs> I've <you>. never. <laughs> Uh, what triangle? Huh? I was like, you know, isosceles, like three, four, five triangle. What you know about that? 
Like what? Yeah. How do you? you how do some, you know I this? I think a, see some people don't sit down to break down their tablet or their device to make it as safe as possible for the kids, and then also you dictate what's on there. So yeah, like me, um, I only put on like puzzles and letters mm-hmm. and number games and stuff like that, and then she can use YouTube for a certain amount of time a day. And that's that. Oh, you put the timer on? Yeah. So she'll use YouTube to listen. Because my daughter, for some apparent reason, loves music. And she's been listening to uh, I think the, the YouTuber Jojo Siwa, whatever. And one day she's just mm. singing Kids in the Candy Store. I'm like, What's, what the heck is this? And my wife was like, oh, she's singing the song by whatever. And it's like a Disney Channel whatever. So she'll do that. Then I caught her watching Pokemon. I caught her watching Dragon Ball Z. One Punch Man, all types of stuff. She's on there. Just you know, she'll go. Doesn't down it just the make line. you so happy? It make me so proud. It makes me like, so proud. Like man, <laughs> she breaks all I'll, the rules after that. I'll be happy. I'm like, you know, what? She yeah, can. like it's she okay. Can. She over watching. As long as you know who side of my is. Mm-hmm. Like it just. I, I look at I look at like my daughter whenever she's trying to get on my good side. She's like, Daddy, are we gonna watch anime? Are we gonna watch anime? She oh, let's the, watch that show. She she knows oh. the juice. Oh yeah, and I'll be looking at her. I'm like, nah, we are gonna watch Barbies. Go sit down. <laughs> like, oh, that's her show right now. That bro. probably so hurts she, her. She she hit that Barbie phase. Oh, okay, like I didn't think it would come because we don't talk about it. And we don't watch it. So, but yep. at daycare, daycare mm-hmm. kid, like that, you can't. Folks, and be you're... honest with your kids because they're gonna get it from somewhere else. Yep. That and um, when they start controlling the remote for Netflix. Yes. That's a dangerous game right there. I caught my daughter watching Barbie. We ain't, I ain't, this is before she even had a Barbie. Before she even knew what doll hair was. She watching Barbie. She watching these unicorn braiding things. She's teaching herself how to braid hair, how to put her hair in a ponytail. All because I said, you know what, here. Take the, the Fire Stick remote and watch Netflix. And she know how to navigate through that mug. She know her profile. She can read her profile. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay. Oh, so speaking on nerd stuff. So we listen, like, I haven't listened to music in the car probably in about three, four months. I've been oh. listening to audiobooks. Okay. I'm hooked on, we talked about this before. I'm hooked on literary Hashtag RPGs. Lit yeah. RPGs. RPGs. I'm I bought hooked a, on. I bought a couple of them too. I just got to sit down. They're so amazing. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm hooked. My daughter in the back seat. So they always talk about um they use the word respite a lot to take a break, you know. Yeah. For those who don't know that's what it means like to get a a, a reprieve, a little a brief second Recess. of breath. Yeah. So the Kristen's in the back, my kid's in the back, and she's like, respite. <sighs> <I'm> like, <laughs> what is going on here? I was like, did she use it that word properly? Mm-hmm. Did she just no? And I and I hate moments like that because it's like you got this two-year-old talking about respite. Yeah. Now she has a pretty decent vocabulary, so it's not a big shock, but it's just the fact that a word like that here coming out of a two year old's mouth. And then she's like, ah, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's shocking because it's yeah. just unexpected. Some people, like, I think a lot of people underestimate kids brains until they have big kids. time because big me, time. I, I used to hear my nephews and nieces, you know, say whatever, whenever, however, and it's just like, Oh, that's cute. But when my kids did it, it was like the world just began. It was you know what accomplishment means? Like, yeah, like, and and then properly using it, telling me exactly what it part. means and stuff like that. Um, so that's when I realized that, like, instead of doing the whole Google Gaga, you know, whatever, trying to oh, dumb yeah. it down, Play that game. nah, I'm gonna use the words how I actually talk because mm-hmm. if my daughter doesn't know, she'll say, "Well, what does that mean?" And then I'll tell her what it means, and then she'll say it back to me. She'll repeat it back to me, and then. One day out of the blue, she'll learn how to use it on her all mm-hmm. on her own, and then that'll be that. So, um, the beauty of it is that they get to listen to this stuff, and then you and then obviously you control it as their parent. Like people say, like, oh yeah, TV and tablets and phones can raise your kids. No, 
I mean, yeah, yeah it's, it's a, just it's another an act, tool. It's another activity, it's another tool. Another, tool. Um, another thing to do. My, I caught my daughter out there dancing outside in the backyard with the tablet set up doing the dances. So I'm like, man, she killing two birds with one stone. You can't be yep. mad at her. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm not even mad at her for doing that. Like exactly. That. So, um, just a whole new era and I've come to accept it. I'm just not, I'm not that disconnected, you know, from the world to be upset about that. Damn. I don't even know how we got on this. <laughs> Me neither. Um, but so, Oh, what was I going to say? Oh, you you uh, were talking about, uh, I don't know what I was talking about. Um, well, the mobile no. phone game. Oh Skyrim yeah. Blade. Blade. Okay. Elder Scrolls Blades. I don't. Wow, we got super far off. Oh, what, <laughs> bro? <laughs> but no. Days. But with Elder Scrolls Blades, bro, it is the simple setup. Mm-hmm. It is a tap and go game. You're tap to move into your environment. When you get into combat, you have um, you tap on the screen and it's a timer of holding, like the whole like the reaching a certain point of the bubble to land an attack. But you have a little shield in the center to where you can block. Then you get three abilities on each side. So you have three spells you can get um, at one time, and you can have three, uh, like, uh, weapon abilities on one side, like dodge and other stuff like that. Okay. So the strategy is there. Every type of monster has their weaknesses, fighting style, aggressiveness, and you get all types of crafting and weapons. So it's Elder Scrolls. It's melted down to a mobile version. Okay. Okay. Like, that's the best. So for anybody who's played any type of Skyrim, like, they got base building mechanic. You get to build up your settlement. You get to build a, a armory or a smithy. You get to build an alchemy enchanter's hut. You got to uh, optimize it to make it look prettier to raise your level. Then you get different levels of gear. They even added different levels to the type of gear you can have. Everything from uh, regular to, like, uh, legendary or exquisite or something like that. It's some malef- malef- whatever. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy tier. Um, you got farming of loot. You you got chest opening. Now where the money grubbing part comes, and I wish I would have paid attention in the beginning. I haven't spent any money on the game. I've been playing it for just to give you a heads up. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been playing it for maybe a good two days now. Yeah, I'm level. I think I'm like level thirteen. I think I just leveled up before I got on with you. But um, I haven't spent any money, but you start off getting the gems. You know, every mobile game has their microtransactions. Exactly. Well, Sounds they give them gold. to you at a decent rate. Okay. Um, enough to where I didn't feel the need to buy it. Now, for somebody who's impatient, who can't wait four hours to open a chest, mm-hmm. they're going to want to boom. Buy so then there's, tier- there's tears on the chest. It'd be so those people chest. that try to justify it too, like uh, I get paid tomorrow. I'll be up. Right. Yep. Oh, bro, that's those are the ones they get. <laughs> yeah. The bro, man, the gambler mentality. I ain't gonna even. Front. I just want I, more. I, I, I was caught like that with like uh, when I used to play NBA Two K. Like, ah, uh, yeah, I get paid. I, I get paid oh, tomorrow. I, do, I work some overtime so I can make up for it. I, put it. I bought VC. <laughs> Excuse me. I bought I bought VC for um. For NBA 2K, I don't mm-hmm. know which one, but I've done it before. Yeah, because I'm like, oh, 10 bucks, and I can get my character to where he can dunk real good. And yeah, then I, can do the I just rest. need to dunk. Yeah, I just need to be able to dunk, and I can do the rest. Fast yeah. break and dunk. <laughs> but no, but so the game also has um tier levels and it with chest. So with the wood chest, which are the most basic, it takes five seconds to open it. Mm-hmm. The next tier up is silver. Silver chests take an hour. Then the next one up is, um, I want to say gold, okay. and those take uh, like six hours or something like that. So like and a so true mobile so game. Forth. It's a true mobile game. Mm. Um, a lot of people, when I've heard, I've seen people say it was like money grubbing, and then I was like, ah, I was scared to play it. Yeah. But then something told me, just pushed me to just to try it at least. And only way that game is money grubbing is if you're impatient or you don't start yourself right in the beginning. Yeah. I made the mistake. Thank God I'm semi-patient when it comes to that because I'm like, I'm not dumping money into a phone game when I got my Switch, I got my Xbox, I got my laptop. Like, I'm, There's no way I'm doing all that. But with the gems, I should have first took 10 gems and increased my chest limit because you start off with only a limit of 10. 
Okay. So if when you have a chest limit of 10, if you go out and adventure, let's say I made the mistake of trying to open a six hour chest, but I'm still playing. Mm -hmm. So I can't open any other chest without spending gems or real money until that six hours is up. changes. So the, or mis like, the, the or mistake I made is I'm, I'm already maxed out uh -huh. and I can't, I'm on adventures, I'm on adventures, I'm grinding, I'm looting. Now I'm losing chest because the chest don't stack. So mm -hmm. they're going to fall off until that time opens up and then I can open all the chests. So there's a strategy to open in your chest in a certain way. Like me, I'm not going to do anything big, any of the six hour chests until I'm getting ready to go to bed and I know I'm not about to play. Yeah. Because I know I'm going to get six hours of sleep. So why would I sit here and, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can let yeah. it run while you're, you know. Exactly. While you're knocked out. So, yeah. So that's why, um, so personally, the game is fun. It's in beta form. It's early, like early access. I'm having fun with it. They don't even have all the mechanics. Like they don't have uh, jewelry. So there's no necklaces or rings. Okay. Um, which are like three more item slots. So you're just running with... Helmet, armor, body armor, forearm armor, leg armor, and uh, either dual wielding or um, shield and weapon. Shield okay. and sword. Um, there's everything from hammers, swords, great swords, axes, um, magical items, magical spells. The skill list isn't that big. I don't know if they'll um, adjust it over time, but I think for a mobile game, it's more than enough. Like, it's not like I'm playing Skyrim. Yeah, and even if you think about it, Skyrim didn't even have that many spells. Like, in terms of for a game that big, I think it could have had way more spells, yeah. or at least an ability to alter them, which they kind of do. But that's not the point. I'm having fun. I recommend it if you have access and you got a Bethesda Net account, get on play. Everyone it. should just make a Bethesda Net account. Yeah, you should because they offered like free games. Like I think they offered Morrowind um, last month. Yeah. Which is like the game that got me started. Morrowind was my introduction into Elder Scrolls. Hmm. Um, yeah, that was my rant. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, mobile gaming has. Uh, when I, I'm trying to change mobile gaming for me, where it's not really mobile gaming. It's just like gotcha. on the mobile, on the mo, like a mobile gamer type deal. Got so it. I've been thinking of getting like a uh, like um, either a portable game system, where it's called games, or like a screen, like one of them screens that attach to the back of your system. So Ooh. you can you literally can bring your PlayStation anywhere. And I thought about getting one of the game systems for that simple reason. Like, man, because one thing I did get tired of doing, I got tired of uh, remote playing from other locations because the connectivity isn't that bad. And for the games that I play online, only games, it's kind of You need the best. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not going to do that no more. So then I thought, like, oh, yeah, let me get uh, let me just get the screen. That way I could just bring the system with me. But then I'm like, damn, I'm if I get just the screen for this PlayStation. I can't use it for my Xbox. So I'm like, uh, let me just get a game system. So I've been really paying attention to the game systems and looking those up. Um, I'll keep everybody posted on what happens. I may get one. I may not get one. But they look legit. It's literally like a little mini briefcase. Or not even a mini briefcase. It's like a briefcase. Look, like a big ass yeah. briefcase. And, and the screen will be embedded, right? Yeah. So literally you pop it up. And only thing you got to do is plug the game system in. Everything else is encased and it's plugged into your PlayStation or Xbox that way. So I've been thinking about that, man. Uh, mobile gaming doesn't do. You know what? Mobile gaming I like. I like like Clash of Clans. Like mm. where I can go take care of my base and just walk away from it. You know, sometimes don't even touch it for years and, and go back and <laughs> my base is all destroyed and my somebody then came through and watched the replay. Storage is all full. Yeah, so paying attention to that 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 part right there. And and you know what? I seen you mentioned uh, you mentioned remote play. For me. Remote play was working back when I was playing it mm -hmm. because I was able to um, I play a lot of RPGs. I play a lot of games that pause and I don't necessarily have to do whatever I was going to do. Yeah. Right then and there. So, it, you know, it was a lot of respite. 
<laughs> um, so remote play a whole lot for of my game, right? Really worked for me. Um, what how what games are you playing right now, <laughs> bro? Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm playing Destiny. Oh. <laughs> how well? How Destiny going? What's going on in Destiny? World? Um, that okay. So, um, I, I to be honest, this week I haven't played. Um, I've been extra busy with life. Uh, so I haven't gotcha. been playing Destiny this week. Um, Destiny, what they <clears throat> the reason why I'm addicted to Destiny because I am addicted to it. Um, is because. It was a point in Destiny's lifespan that I just wasn't playing. So when it was time for me to come back, it was so much for me to catch up on. As a completionist, I'm that guy that wants to complete it. I need to have it all. I need to get the gear sets so my collections things looks perfect. I need to get all the triumphs because I need the the you know the inf- the 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 highest score you possibly can get from it. So and then also with Destiny, it's also the the end game, the true end game in that game, is more so like trying to find the perfect gear, the perfect weapons. Mm. And then also Destiny, I love the arena shooter about it. The Crucible okay. is dope to me, especially especially because I'm all about like making builds and doing stuff like that. So and then also they in, they introduce something called pinnacle weapons and they're supposed to be like the the upper echelon of weapons in the game. So you got to do like challenging things like go into competitive and reach, you know, glory rank which is like half of the legend rank which I think it's like 2100 points. But if you lose, you go on a losing streak. You can't you if you lose uh, you don't go on a losing streak anymore. You used to go on losing streaks, but you lose points as well. So if you lose, say you win a game, you'll get like 80 points. If you lose a game, you'll lose like 50 points. So Ooh. so do you only run this mode with squads to no. get your points? No, no, no. Um, I'm, I, okay, so with competitive, competitive right now in Destiny is kind of a drag. And um, okay. I haven't been able to get to legend rank. The highest I got was 3,000 points, and that was solo. So I was able to go solo 3,000 points. I got my Luna's Hal pretty much by myself. Um, and uh, I didn't even attempt to go legend because once you get past that point, you're playing against four stacks. You're playing against the, the, the destiny gods of the Crucible, the guys that gotcha. have... The you sweaties. Know, that, exactly. So um, I haven't even attempted to do that. My next step is to get a party to get to the legend rank so I can get the the other pinnacle weapon that I'm missing. But not only that, also they have, like I said, triumphs and seals in this game now. So now it's it's like trophies within the game to, un- to unlock. And one of the trophies, one of the seals to unlock, which is the only seal I need for the Crucible, is to reach legend rank in the competitive playlist three times in three different seasons. So I haven't done it one time yet. So now that that's where I'm at with it. And that's why I'm playing the game so much. It's like I haven't done the old raids. I want to do the old raids. Um, they they put out so much content and since the game is like a live action game like literally week to week you get something new um True. you know you kind of don't want to miss anything even though last this week and the last week i was kind of missing stuff so that's why i'm cool like with destiny um i see the potential in it i know the, the i know it's troubled i know it's a troubled game but i'm hooked because mostly because of the arena shooter part about it do you think Bungie, now that they have full control, is doing a good job? Uh, no, because we won't get to see that until after the last, uh, the last scheduled uh, year uh, an- annual pass. Oh, pass. Got because it. Because that's still a Activision. That was still part of Activision. Um, I think that Bungie. Okay, so my goal, my thought process for Bungie, a Bungie controlled Destiny game where it's only their hands on it. Okay, so last week we talked about the leaks, right? Got it, yeah. Um, well, more leaks came out. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, so, okay, remember I was talk- I was telling you about this. We didn't really finish the conversation. Um, so, uh, 
Bungie came out and uh, like I was telling you before, uh, something happened, glitched in the, a glitch in time space the system, and PC and Xbox players got a weapon that was the only exclusive on PlayStation till September. So since that happened, uh, Bungie had to come back and rectify it. Now the only reason why the community is in a, is in an uproar is because they got the gun. I got it. Yeah. Everybody was expecting, oh yeah, just let us have it. You know, we already have it. Like, don't be that guy. Well. Um, you got to think about it. Destiny or the Bungie has left Activision. They're split. They're not together anymore. They're only Facts. together for this the rest of this year. They're gonna end the 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 annual pass out on this note, and then after that, Bungie has to pick up the everything, all the pieces, everything, everything's on them. Bungie doesn't want to burn bridges with Sony with no one, especially since. Most of their advertising company again. Exactly. You're gonna be by yourself. And I'm glad I'm I'm pretty sure Xbox will gladly pick up pick back up Bungie. Hell yeah. Why not? Halo absorb everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. So they would most definitely pick them back up. But Bungie needs the cash. People need to realize that. Bungie needs the cash. The system that is winning right now is PlayStation. So two Oh, let me move my cursor. So to that extent, they're gonna have to they have to keep it level headed when they're thinking about it with, with Sony. So um now uh to your to your real question, uh with a bungee controlled destiny, they have all the potential in the world to make a great game bringing back true fans that left the game from in the beginning and um there they would be able to appeal to uh, appeal to everyone pve players because the destiny community to be honest is the ones that split each other split up they have your pve side and you have your pvp side pvp sure. side is your true crucible grindy super all i want to do is kill other people and not bots all day where your pve sure. people which i consider them like your uh which is is a very debatable, and especially in this game, in Destiny, these are like your 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 speed runners, your people who try to break records in these in these uh, these um, controlled or semi controlled uh, PVE areas or content, and they try to like solo the raid or solo this nightfall on hot, on the hardest difficulty or three grenade launchers. Running three grenade launchers um, through a nightfall and stuff like that. Basically, content creators. Exactly. So, uh, they have all the potential to take what they learned from what the best from Destiny 1, the best from Destiny 2, combine them, make the graphics better, make the UI a little different, shake it up. You know, give us some more lore, some more story, and bada bing, bada boom. Now you got yourself a bungee controlled destiny. And also, you know what? oh, go ahead. Oh no, my bad. Go ahead. You were in full stride. Yeah, because uh, the reason why I was, uh, the reason why I said that, and the reason why I brought up Destiny One and Destiny Two, is because literally, they they did some great things in those games. You have a true fan base. You have a you have a, a dedicated fan base. If we said we like this, why not pick up and take from that and create something the alongside of that to make time it better? Within your game, I'm telling you, what. one of, exactly. So and then, um, you know, they got a uh, they have these summits. They just had another summit, which I don't know how I feel about. Where they invite certain YouTubers and certain uh, mm. people in the community out, and they get to see these different types of contents and um, play it, and then they'll come back and once the embargo is lifted, they'll put a video out and they'll tell you how it's going to be great and how it's going to be good, and then which I can't wait to get to a point to doing, folks. <laughs> can't wait to sell out. I'm going to sell out so damn fast. <laughs> I, but me. This game's amazing. I think, I think the we've been through it so much where they could at least tell the truth. Yeah. Like tell the yeah. truth. Oh, at this point, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. We, I'm tired of y'all saying, "Oh, this is gonna be great," and then a uh, a month into the game, oh, it's boring. Yeah, I told you. Hey, 
I was at E3 when people were playing um, Destiny 2 when it first was before it released. Yeah. And I called you and I said, ah, it looks like more. It looks like Destiny. And I, I t- didn't see uh, up front. I didn't see nothing that was Bruh. enough to make me want to itch to play. Go back and listen to all those super duper high strung YouTubers. They were about selling how, it. Oh, it's going to be amazing. The game is going to be better because it's only going to be a game about primaries and and there's not going to be really any use for power weapons and blah, 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 blah. It's amazing. This gun feels good, yada, yada, yada. And then what happens? A month in the game. Oh, it's boring. It's stale. The same Mm -hmm. guns. Team shotting. Oh, my back hurt. Bro, y'all just was talking about how it was good. I remember on this podcast, I can't tell you what episode. I wish I could quote myself and tell you which one to go back to and listen to at this timestamp. I said the only way that Destiny thrives is if, is if they had a sh- so much guns in this game, it was overload. Like you couldn't save all the guns in your vault. And this is back when they had created roles already where yeah. this gun had this role forever. If they had a million and one guns, if they brought all the guns back from Destiny 1 and put it into Destiny 2, even I don't think that would have been enough. But they needed uh, so much variety yeah. that people couldn't like it, it just something was new it, every time. You You have to have that like with games that are built on replayability like 100% replayability online only experience. Mm-hmm. I need to be able to make sure that my shoulder pad gives me a different stat than the next person's shoulder pad. Yeah. So period, it needs to be that intense. I need to be able to alter color. I need to be able This is why I always felt Sea of Thieves from even during my beta. Once again, plugging myself, there's another video I did during the closed beta Shameless. or the open beta. Yeah. I reviewed it and I was like, as fun as and beautiful this game was, I know I wouldn't play it longer than a couple Excellent. weeks. Yeah, exactly. I just that's just me. Now I haven't been back or heard with updates and all this type of stuff is fun, but I still wouldn't play because I want to be able to have some variety outside of cosmetics mm-hmm. or online only game. Yeah, I want my my sword to be the flaming sword of truth that I found. On this random skull island that I had to kill thirty zombies in order to get it. See another thing, like that, I want that random role. My, I want my crime to to show. Like my issue with a lot of developers, and this is just my uh, an opinion I have, is that they're they're scared to release that type of power to their consumer. The reason why I say that is because. Imagine, just pick a game, pick any game in the realm of Destiny. So, like, your Division, like, your... Yeah. Imagine if you have full controllability of what your character looked like, what your character moved like, how your character held his gun, the the victory dance your, your character did. If you had full, 100% control over all aspects of that, what like the paint on your gun, stuff like that, like what your emote look or your um, what your tag look like, like like you know, just like create like a creative, but just like in um, Call of Duty when you're able to create like your emblem. Imagine if you were able to do that in these games. I don't see why not. I think they're scared of more people getting creative on that side of the ball instead of playing the game. Especially mm. when most of these games have microtransactions in it. Oh, you're going to spend 40 hours creating the perfect emblem? Nah, G. I need you out there playing the game so you can see something in the game that you want that you can't buy or that you can't find so you can buy some silver so you can go again buy this damn Ingram and hope that you get it. Nah. That's funny. That's funny because that's, that's a solid point. Mm-hmm. Because I, like, the more... The more freedom you give the player, the better things tend to be, in my yeah. opinion. Like you just said, I'm agreeing with you. And I think you're right. I think that's uh, it, it, some games they want to funnel you towards, I just want you out there in the field because you'll, like you said, it'll push you to spend more money. Yeah. I, I'm really at a point now where, and we've talked about it, we beat it dead. Um, Give me just give me a free um give me a free game. 
or microtransactions or and, and then set it up in a way to where I can only get so many hours of play without investing any money. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. so, in, in my example, I is, love that. Cause I I got I got a, I got my point to that. Go ahead, continue. I'm sorry. So real quick with blades, like I gave the whole spiel, I is I can play as much as I want, but I can't open any loot chest if my loot chest capacity is full. Yeah, and I'm and I'm loading one. So you could set that same type of wall up. It's a paywall, but at the same time, I didn't buy the game. Mm-hmm. Free, like yeah. I can't get mad. Now you got to make it to where the game is still playable because I can still go and level up. I just won't get any loot boxes. Yeah. I can go level up, get my character stronger, kill monsters, collect certain loot. I just won't get chests. Yeah, you know. Now should now okay. So I had a question before I go into my point. Should that be limited to cosmetics only, in an aspect of that type of game? Because mm. now we're dealing with some true well, bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bad it. out here. Um, I think it depends on the type of game. If you're doing a P- PVE only, which is player versus everything. Okay. Um, if it's PVE only, I think you can do it however the hell you want. True. If somebody okay. wants to drop $100 to max a character out and get the Holy Sword of Truth, fine. They're stupid, but they can do it. Mm-hmm. Or not stupid, but I think it's not the most prudent thing you can do with your hey, game. Warframe. Warframe. It, uh, Warframe. There you go. Warframe is a prime example. You can buy almost everything on that game. And then if you can't buy it, you can buy all the material individually to then make it. And then you can pay to speed it up. Mm-hmm. So, yes, you can ruin the experience of the game. But some people don't see it as ruining some people really enjoy that. Now, then you have your other option, which a, a perfect example would be NBA 2K. If that game, you have players who the first thing they do is go spend 100 bucks to get maxed out VC so they can get out into the my street or whatever it's called or the courts. I forgot mm, what it's called. Yeah. And, and max out your character so you can be out there 99. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Or ninety. I don't think you can get to ninety nine. I think you get up to ninety, right? Yeah. I, I'm not sure. I ain't played it in a while. I haven't played it forever either. But that, any of the see, newer that, ones. That's that scary point. Now that that bothers me that mm-hmm. somebody can come in, drop a credit card, and then go out and play. When here it is, I'm trying to do it the quote unquote free way, not necessarily the right way. Not even anymore. You can't even say that's the way it was intended. Because clearly that's not the world we live in anymore no. when they're putting microtransactions in single-player games. Yeah. No. No. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, we can go for days about that. Yeah, no. But but if I'm going to get microtransactions, it needs to fit the environment. Fortnite, they did it perfect. They offered this free game, which is still in beta. <laughs> and uh, I got to keep saying that because people, one of the top played games right now is not fully released. People Let's don't ponder on that. that. But then, um, so what they did, they offered you a free game with a fun, quick, rapid response experience. Mm-hmm. And all they all they did was throw out different cos, uh, cosmetics. And then they, remember, what was it, pinatas? Is it pinatas with Fortnite? Yeah. You can buy the pinatas and get, like, random. Uh, do they still do that? I'm not sure. No, I thought po- Fortnite was um like you, I thought it was pinata. They had like a whole Fortnite store. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about the pinatas thing, but I know like they have like a whole Fortnite store and it changes every like 24 hours. So what you were able to buy inside the store changes and then you're able to buy this skin or that skin. Yeah, the purple or, llama. That's what it was. Or yeah, the loot pinata. Per- yes, yeah, you're right. You're right. Um but then you are also able to buy enough VC to unlock everything in the battle pass. So literally, you bought this amount of VC, and then literally you turn that VC into completions on the battle pass. And that's how people were maxing out their battle pass and had all of the exclusive gear instead of doing mm-hmm. the challenges to get all of that yep. stuff. So, um, and and which the challenges aren't too 
they're not too bad. No, they're not far fetched to the point to where it's impossible to reach. That's where a lot of games mess up. They get greedy to the point where, like, perfect example was Battlefront or Battlefront Two. Mm-hmm. It, it took somebody hundreds of dollars just to get Darth Vader. Yeah, like two hundred bucks or something crazy. Like, like it was that. some crazy number. Like especially there was, like, for there was a game no way like, like that. Well, yeah, you don't, it'd be different if like. I spawned up as Darth Vader every time and I don't change. But I got to go on like a streak or get enough points to unlock this character. And you telling me. And, and they, no. I think they broke down the hours too. It was like over 20 hours or something like that would have been needed yeah. in order to build up enough. So you got to you gotta make it tangible. You have to make it enjoyable. So first and foremost, the game needs to be fun with or without money. Yeah. Apex Legends. Okay. Without without money, the game is fun. It stands on its own. Fortnite, the game is fun with or without money. Now that extra umph is you can have more fun, or you can get things easier if you spend a little money. You got the game for free. You're having fun. You already got twenty hours in the game for something you didn't pay for. What's five bucks? Yeah. I- What's well, ten dollars? I can relate to, and that. that's so. So that's how certain games get me, and we've talked about that in the past. Yeah. Like we we've done that, like we've had that talk. Like oh, it's dude, I, I played it for free. Like I don't think I put any money into Warframe, but I wouldn't have mind putting twenty dollars into it. Yeah, and see me, I I'm got a- 50, 60 hours in it, so. A twenty dollar game that I played that much is a damn good deal. The one issue that I have is that me, and it's a personal issue, is that I always end up thinking about okay, how long am I going to play this game for? Because so I'm, why do I want it? Yeah. Exactly, I'm very, very much aware of how much money I have and how much money I'm willing to spend on this game. So if you think about Destiny, this is why I don't talk money with Destiny because I play the game. Whether no matter how bad it is or what's going on in the game, I play the game. So I'm gonna play this game regardless. I'm gonna get my money. If there was like a meter to to determine how much hours, even if you did it based off of like um minimum wage and uh like every hour was only one hour of gaming so or no every two hours you put in of gaming equated to or every two hours in real time equated to one hour of in-game time i would still make my money back 10 times over the amount of times I, the amount of time i've put into this game so got you even just using that basic mathematics to figure out like how much time you i need to put into this game to make my money back i'm gonna make my money back but if i'm talking about a game I mean, let's, you can we can use Warframe because we I don't play it like that no more. Yeah. If I put that type of money that I put into buying Destiny into Warframe, I'd be upset at myself right now because I don't play the game no more. And and this is and this is why. See your your mentality on it fits with the type of games you play and how yeah. often you play. You probably haven't played any other major game besides Destiny, too. In what months? I mean, since Red Dead. Red Dead, yeah. And we it all know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't man, even go hard on that like I was supposed to. Didn't go hard at all. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I am going to jump to Days minutes, Gone though. though. What happened? I think I am going to jump on Days Gone when it comes out. Oh, uh, I know. Are you gonna buy it? You buying it digital? I think I'm. Think I am. Let me know. Yeah, it will work out because i know i want to play it yeah and and then uh, like i said i'm not doing the remote thing anymore so you can we can do the whole thing set up whatever folks save yourself some money find you a good friend and game share a trustworthy that's my friend. that's my psa oh my god a trustworthy last story, friend last story oh. i met a guy on on the in on the internet um sounds like i won't even story. say your name on here because he watches and he um he was <laughs> So he jumps into the room and he goes, hey, man, uh, you mind if I game share with you? I'm like, nah, bro, I'm good. He was like, man, you won't believe it. I was game sharing with this dude and he uh, he he won't give me. He changed my password to my account. 
and he changed all his information to that account so he can't log into his account anymore. And he was game sharing with this dude since PlayStation 3. And the dude moved like out of state and whatever. He took his whole account. And and peep this. Peep this. PlayStation last or last week just allowed people to change their PS PSN IDs. <laughs> So now the dude can finally change the name on the PlayStation account. I said, that's grimy, bro. I feel so, I feel it for you. The dude was like, yo, I had all my stuff on there. I can't even get my stuff back. Woody woo. I'm just looking for somebody to game share because he was looking to get, uh, he didn't want to buy the DLC anymore and he wanted a specific gun that was tied with the DLC. I was like, nah, bro, I'm good. I don't trust people like that. Especially with Which my is, accounts that I pay, so and let me tell you, everybody I know who game shares, mm -hmm. they've no, either known each other forever, yeah, or they live together, or they're family, like blood related. Yeah, shout now out to my boy Dunn. My boy Dunn's game shares with somebody that's three thousand miles away. I don't even know if he's ever met the cat, but he J yeah. he game shares with the dude. The dude, the dude. They still rock. So, me, I can't do it. I can't do I don't even want to game share with family. <laughs> I, hey, no, that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a touchy subject, bro, yeah. because your everything is there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm always, like, my big fear with all this digital gaming is, because you know in those little agreements you click OK through just to rush through, you, if we get banned, we can't access our games no more. Yeah, no. In pure digital. That's one reason why I, certain games I'll buy physical. Yeah. Because I'm like, heck or hot. Like, most of my RPGs that I know you're not going to play, I just buy the physical. Like, yeah. I would, because 90% of them, I can play with or without the internet. Yeah. So, like, I would, I don't ever anticipate our accounts getting banned, but I've seen crazier things happen for less. And we're yawning. I'm exhausted. We got to right. call it. Bro, I'm so tired. I fought. So we're old people now. I feel old, bro. Like, I'm itching to get in my bed. My bro, eyes hurt. I'm, I'm, I'm feel beat up. my eyes the whole time. Bro, I'm sitting. Bro, we got to go. But we're here. I'm Consistency. Nerd Noir. Gear is up. I haven't put up no new designs, but I got some in the works. I need to put Men's them up. It's killing it. Men's Man, is hot. It's there. Y'all. It's yeah. hot right now. Men's, Men's hot. <laughs> but y'all can go shop there, Nerds Noir. Um, it's all links are below. Uh, most uh, shout out to Tone Deaf Network. Appreciate you guys. Thank you for blasting us across the ether. I'm Baron J67. I'm T Jones, and I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed, bro. I'm about to pass out. Much love, y'all. Peace. Peace.